Use Rock Smash! You use Rock Smash too, Extra Drill! Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 times Pokemon went beast mode. Number 10. Beware the Beware It seems a bit different today. Apparently, even Ultra Beasts forget that Pokemon hath no fury like a mama bear scorned. After Furumosa ran quick attacks around Pikachu and the others, there's something almost menacing about the way Beware confidently stalks up to its prey. Not only does it actually land a paw on the Ultra Beast, but it seems completely unfazed by their extreme speed. Beware proves its confidence was warranted when it dodges a strike, catches Feromosa, and delivers a Sky Uppercut to end all Sky Uppercuts. <laughs> to say it was super effective would be an understatement. Clearly, the untrained, fluffy combatant was on a mission to prove its name was more than just wordplay. And it's Beware with a dramatic win! <laughs> Number 9. Kingler is King Don't use Krabby! It's never battled! Don't worry about it, Misty! I've always got Squirtle and Pikachu for backup! The opening match of the regional league is not usually the time to test out the second string, but Krabby definitely proved the exception. In its first ever true fight in the series, it used a vice grip on type matchups, evolved to Kingler, and then hyper beamed Mandy out of the entire Indigo League. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's an utter crab hammer of a match that ends with a clean 3 0 sweep for Ash. That'd be impressive for any Pokemon, let alone one that spent almost the entirety of Kanto on the bench. With a debut performance like that, Ash may want to rethink his starting lineup. <laughs> we actually did it, Kingler! Number 8. Riolu Roars With the fate of Ash, Pikachu, and the entire region at stake, there was a lot riding on this Aura Pokemon's tiny shoulders. But despite the odds, he didn't so much as hesitate before leaping into action to protect his trainer. Finish it. Riolu, it's no use! By holding back two fully evolved Pokemon on his own, Riolu unlocked enough friendship to evolve into Lucario. And evidently, he learned the move Thrash in the process. Lucario, the Aura Pokemon, a fighting and steel type. Lucario uses a power called Aura, which allows it to sense human feelings. To call the ensuing scuffle a fight is a bit rude to Lucario, who only has to throw a few Aura Spheres before Chairman Rose completely wilts. It's an utter reversal, and we don't just mean the move. You did it, Lucario! He got me at Now let's go and help Leon. Number 7. Dragonite Gets Grounded a fully evolved dragon type is nothing to rest at. Thankfully, the same can be said for ground types. Come on, I know you can do it! <laughs> this battle of sky and earth got off to a rocky start for Ash, but it's all to set the stage for Krogrok's shiny new evolution. With bigger shades, more attitudes, and a super effective Dragon Claw attack, the newly minted Crocodile soon had Dragonite calling Mayday. He dug his way to victory by forcing the furious dragon into a fiery crash landing, and of course, chucking a few pointy rocks along the way. Not only did Dragonite basically defeat itself, but it lost to a Pokemon wearing sunglasses. Talk about going out in style. Number 6. Evolution Revolution We are Tentacool and Tentacool, here and now. Humans have destroyed our ocean home, and now we will have our revenge. For the most part, Pokemon are partners, friends, and helpers. 
Well, except for this episode, where Team Rocket turns some cranky tentacle into the stars of a disaster film. One of them then evolves into a kaiju, both in size and destructive capability. The rampaging Tenta Cruel nearly decimates a whole town off the map, and that's with Ash and company trying to stop it. There'd never been such a display of strength in the show before, to the point it was even temporarily banned from English broadcast. That just goes to show that Tenta Cruel's surf attack wasn't a light sprinkle, it was a full on tidal wave. You are all Pokemon! Why are you battling to save the destructive human? Number 5. Sword and Shield On principle alone, a sword fight between Pokemon is plenty cool. When it's accompanied by a welcome power-up for a long-forgotten Mon, it's no wonder this scene is a downright critical hit. Not even Gallade's justified boost can pierce the epicness of Farfetch'd finally getting its due, especially when the new form comes with its own set of weaponry too. Let's get a lot stronger together! Leon's waiting for us! Surfetched. Surfetched counters the psychic type's blades with its very own until, with a fearsome battle cry, he clinches a win that finally puts respect on his name. Even though Farfetch'd had been around since the first generation, this fight single-handedly proved that the bird Pokemon still had some tricks up its leak. Number 4. Blaze Blitz So I guess that's the best you can do then. You're pathetic, just like always. Really, there was only ever one way Ash and Paul's rivalry could have ended. It just feels right to have their journey culminate in the top 8 of the Sinnoh League, both down to their ace, with Infernape up against the very trainer that abandoned him. With all that on the line, it's clear why Electivire's shocks won't keep the fire type down. Alright, Infernape! Time to show Paul just how strong you are! <laughs> Instead, Infernape finds the motivation to stand up one last time and blaze his way to victory. The power-up roar is downright iconic, but it immediately tops itself again with a flare blitz that sums up the best parts of the Sinnoh seasons with a single, unforgettable move. Number 3. Ash Greninja Awakens Stronger and stronger? Here goes! After over 900 episodes and 5 regional leagues, the Pallet Town Prodigy was still finding new ways to unlock his partner's potential. By battle bonding with the Kalos Water Starter, both trainer and Pokemon aligned to make the near unstoppable Ash Greninja. Water Shuriken! Crunch! Use Shadow Ball! The Water Shurikens were already no joke, but the fact the new form managed to push a champion's ace to Mega Evolve speaks for itself. If it weren't for Ash and Greninja's inexperience with the mode, they may have very well secured the win against Diantha. Now use Khan! She may not give out a gym badge specifically, but Ash definitely walked away with a badge of honor. Number 2. Garchomp vs Paul Even a newbie trainer should know that frivolously challenging a league champ is probably not a great idea. For his trouble, Paul finished his bout against Cynthia with a battered team and a severely wounded ego. Paul's got three Pokemon to go. While well, Cynthia's still got all six of her Pokemon ready. And Garchomp's hardly even gotten a scratch. 
Most of that comes from the fact that against his thrifty strategies, tough Pokemon, and even a quite effective Blizzard attack, the Sinnoh champion only had to use a lone Garchomp to win. You know it's a real blowout when even someone as prideful as Paul forfeits the match. It just goes to show why most trainers have to win a regional league just for the chance to challenge someone like Cynthia. What can you say? She's the champion! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Mega Mayhem Pikachu, are you alright? Evolution is nothing new to Pokemon, but Corina's ace skipped a few stages and became something almost unrecognizable. She got more than a measly sword dance with this mega form. It gave Lucario red eyes, uncontrollable power, and a lust for combat. Stop, Lucario! Listen to me, please! Lucario! Lucario! There's something undeniably terrifying about a Pokemon that refuses to listen to its trainer, especially one with the power to toss around Pikachu like it's a Caterpie. Then, even worse, it tried to take the Pokemon out of Pokemon battles by targeting Ash himself. If another Lucario hadn't stepped in, the rampaging Mega may have left Ash and Pikachu six feet deep. Lucario, stop! Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.